The Oliphant Mark II is the flagship main battle tank of the South African National Defense Force, representing a significant evolution from the British Centurion tank, upon which it was originally based. Since its inception in 1976, the Oliphant has undergone extensive upgrades to meet the unique demands of South Africa's military environment. Although it retains the basic hard design of the Centurion, the Mark II has been almost entirely overhauled with a domestically produced gun, power pack, transmission, tracks, wheels, and fire control systems, making it one of the most formidable tanks on the African continent. The Oliphant project began when South Africa sought to improve its aging Centurion fleet during the height of the apartheid era. Given the international embargoes imposed on South Africa at the time, the country turned to indigenous development and collaboration with Israel to modernize its tanks. This led to the creation of the Oliphant Mark 1A and later the Mark 1B. By the 1990s, the South African National Defense Force considered replacing the Oliphant with the more advanced tanks like the French AMX-56 Leclerc or the British Challenger 2E. However, due to Berzot's constraints, they opted for upgrading the existing Mark 1B tanks resulting in the development of the Oliphant Mark II, of which only 26 units were produced. The Oliphant Mark II, weighing 60.5 tons, reflects the lesson learned during the South African border war between 1966 to 1989, during which mobility, firepower, and protection were essential. The name Oliphant meaning elephant in Africans, underscores its massive size and formidable presence. The tank's 20-ton turret and 40.5-ton hull are powered by a 1,026-horsepower continental turbocharged V12 diesel engine, giving it a power-to-weight ratio of 17.19 horsepower per ton. This improved engine allows the Mark II to reach speeds of up to 58 km per hour on roads, making it 25% faster than its predecessor, the Mark 1B. The Olfen Mark II retains the same 105mm GT3B rifle gun from the Mark 1 series, but has been upgraded to support a wider variety of ammunition types including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding support, high-explosive squash head, high-explosive anti-tank, and wide phosphorus rounds. The main gun has an effective range of 3,000 meters with APFSDS rounds and up to 7,500 meters with hash, hit, and WP rounds. A coaxial 7.62mm Browning machine gun complements the main armament, with a total ammunition capacity of 5,000 rounds. For added concealment, the tank is equipped with smoke rally launchers and a system that injects fuel into the engine exhaust to create a smoke screen. The Mark II features a significant improved firepower, fire control system, and computerized battlefield system that allows for firing on the move and effective operation in various weather conditions, day or night. A laser range fighter with an effective range of up to 10 km fits data into the ballistic computer for improved accuracy. The Commodore benefits from a 360-degree thermal emission platform, enabling enhanced situational awareness in hunter-killer mode where the commander and gunner can independently track and engage targets. Despite its weight, the Oliphant Mark II boasts excellent mobility thanks to its independent torsion bar suspension 
an Amtrak 3 automatic transmission system. The tank can overcome obstacles of up to 0.9 meters in height, ford water up to 1.5 meters deep, and cross trenches up to 2 meters wide, making it suitable for varied terrain. Its fuel capacity of 1,260 liters provides an operational range of 260 kilometers cross country, which is vital for extended operations in remote areas. Protection has also been upgraded in the Mark II with additional composite armor on the turret and glasses plate, providing enhanced defense against anti tank threats like rocket propelled grenades and 23mm ammo piercing rounds. A double ammo floor offers improved mine resistance, crucial for operations in environments where landmines are a persistent threat. The inclusion of a fire suppression system and redesigned armor skirts to share the running gear further enhance survivability. The Oliphant Mark II's development was heavily influenced by South Africa's experience during the South African Border War, where mobility and firepower proved crucial. Despite its formidable capabilities, the Oliphant Mark II's deployment has been largely limited to South Africa due to budget constraints and the transient nature of its military strategy. In recent years, the South African National Defense Force has shifted focus from large, heavy armor platforms to more mobile, air-transportable vehicles suited for peacekeeping missions 